Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video, I will be taking a look at the SideClick Universal Remote, which is basically a universal remote that attaches to several streaming devices, such as the Fire TV. For this video, I will be looking at the Fire TV kit. However, like I said, you can get this for other devices, such as the Apple TV or Roku, etc. Basically allows you to go from this, having two remotes, to this, which is just one remote to control everything. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the box. So you get a little instruction booklet. You get the universal remote. This is basically the universal piece, which is basically going to come standard with every kit you get. So this piece is the same. The only thing that's going to be different are the clips to attach your set top box remote to the universal remote. So with the Fire TV kit, you get one for the Fire TV stick and one for the Fire TV voice remote. Also in the box, you get two AAA batteries, so that's very nice of them. I'm gonna go ahead and put the batteries in, and then we'll move on to programming the remote. All right, so I have placed the batteries inside the universal remote. I have placed my remote in the clip. It's very easy to pop in there. I don't think you really need instructions for that. All you need to do is align the universal remote to these here, and it goes in just like that and that's what it looks like again with the side click remote since it's a universal remote you will be able to program all these buttons to do certain actions such as turn on your tv volume up volume down channel up channel down input and then you can choose what you want to do with the a and b buttons Now the programming is actually easy. All you do is set down your device like that, bring over the remote that you want to copy the functions of. I forgot to put batteries on this remote, so we'll try that again. So you press the power button and the B button to initiate the programming mode. You're gonna see a solid light. So now you press the button that you want to program on this side and the action that you want on this side. You will see it blink a couple times and then it'll turn solid. So just refer to the manual for instructions on how to program it. But basically, I just wanted to show you that it's actually a fairly easy process. So now I'm going to go ahead and program the other buttons and we'll move on to actually testing out the device. All right, so we're now going to test the side click with a TV. As you can see, power is coming on. By the way, the IR sensor is actually on this side. So that's why I am at this angle. I'm now going to turn the volume up. You can see, turn it down and change the input. And that's pretty much it. So we have the side to control the TV and the side to control the Fire TV. So you now have two remotes and one. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are interested in picking up your own side click, check out the description where you will find links on where to purchase it. Also, while you're at it, check out my website and show it some love. I would really appreciate that. And that's basically it. I'll see you guys in the next video.